Well, welcome back. This is video number three of setting up your Epson SureColor F570. In this video, we're going to install the Windows driver. This printer supports both Windows and Mac. Um, and as far as interfaces go, it has three. It has your traditional USB, it has Ethernet, and then also has Wi-Fi. I don't recommend using Wi-Fi as typically most Wi-Fi's are really not designed to keep printers busy. They tend to pause and um, that's usually not a good thing for printers. So in this video we're going to be using the USB interface on this if you're going to do Ethernet, Ethernet is a little bit more involved, but not too much. Epson provides uh, some additional uh, Ethernet configuration software to guide you through. I recommend that you call us uh, during the installation. We're happy to walk you through those steps and get you set up. Ethernet, of course, would be the method that you would hook printers up, especially if there's a good distance between the computer and the printer. Also, Ethernet would be preferred if you intend to share the printer among other um, uh, Window and Mac users. The software will be downloaded from Epson's website on the um, start guide. It tells you where to download it, and we'll go ahead and start the installation. I'm running Windows 10 on this machine. And going to tell it to install anyway. So a pretty standard Windows, uh, you know, Epson installer for printers. Uh, it say it's going to install the driver. It will install the um, Epson Net Config, um, and it will also install the um, accounting software if memory serves correctly. Here, accounting software is useful if you want to know how much. A particular job uh, cost to print. The Epson driver um, is a great solution for almost everybody printing. For folks that really want to maximize um, the the printer and the productivity of the printer, um, that's where a RIP potentially would be exceptionally helpful. Um, RIPs also have um, increased um, color engines and um, color management. Um, so let's see here. We're going to tell it we have charged the printer. The RIP that I uh, prefer is uh, we're going to go USB is Wasatch Soft RIP. So um, um, and now we want to connect it. So Miss Sprite is going to plug in the cable. And it says printer detected, which of course is a good thing. Now one of the things that um, Epson does quite well with all this is it looks for any updates um, that um, might be available. Um, we're down here in the USA right there. And uh, product registration, we're going to hit cancel right this second and just tell it to remind us. And we are finished. And so, what we want to do at this point in time is do a Windows test page. And so, we're going to go to control panel, and that takes us to um, where we're going to find the traditional um, devices and printers folder. And we'll look down here and see if we see our Epson printer. Um, it's right there. So we're going to right click on it, left click on printer properties. Well, I think we go to um, printing preferences. And we're going to go to utilities. And uh, we'll do a nozzle check, see what it does. All right, so David successfully installed the driver and we're doing our very first print. So which tray is it pulling from, Ms. Bright? Uh, it is pulling from the 11 by 17 tray. Okay. All right, hold that up to the camera. Uh, a little hard to see. 
Uh, but there are four colors. So. Um, Looks pretty good. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Awesome. So, um, so that really concludes um, installing the driver. So um, stay tuned. We'll see you in a little bit.